I don't really feel the nerf. Most of the nerfs are directed mostly in the startup area and the damage area, but no recovery. So, we should be fine, but there are nerfs on Bonaire which are a little teeny tiny bit scary, I will say. Gameplay and seems to remain the same. doing bad nonetheless i i decided to not play ranked for pretty much the, the entire month that the that the season was up because um i decided to hold back on it up until it was time for you know kaya's uh downfall now we're now we're working on kind of just getting the ranks up and playing with this so i could practice better instead of just playing ranked on pre-patch kaya I'll go lie, I don't I'm not I'm not the greatest fan of Lance. But it's fine, I have spear. Um I did do some living the other day and a lot of the spear nerfs that were given kinda they weren't all that. I have yet to try out some of the 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 D sig, the D sig. Yeah, the D sig's actually a big deal. Um they actually addressed the problem and two frames of startup surprisingly actually does a lot. I didn't even know all that. I was like calling the bluff of the of the nerfs. All right. Well, the <laughs> okay. The 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 force is the same, which is nice. We're, we're doing fine so far, I think. Really, really good at Shrug, just not super proud of myself for that. Hmm. On hit, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be that big of a difference. I honestly didn't kill that much with Ensig. I honestly, I feel like I killed a lot with Ensig when I was playing on... Uh, I was specifically playing against Godly. Which makes sense, and even then, it doesn't really stop that jump read aspect that it's supposed to... It doesn't stop it, but it makes NSIG, like, raw more reactable. Which makes sense. But, it could, it actually could play well for me. Because, I feel like it might actually make people have even more respect for NSIG. Or, like, since it's reactable now, people are just gonna start, um, maybe using their dodge more. If they could react to it, then that means that they're jumping or they're doing something else, and maybe we could play off of it. In other words, if we could use Ensig, and they're pretty much far away from it, we could just end up using, like, D-Light, Rising Recovery, or Jump Recovery, etc. Like, just any extra option that kind of sticks out of the of the hitbox presented by Ensig. Not bad so far. And by the way guys, Starlight Nair still works. Hang on, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what's up. Control on. Darn it. Hmm. Not a big fan of orb. Not bad at guard either. Uh, even though we don't really have a read on him in neutral, we could always just make a good guess. That, 
or we could just take a guess to begin with, because if we if we go for a read and we miss, um, I believe in knowing exactly what to do right after that. Not a bad extension right here, by the way. Use this recovery last. And since you used two jumps, you can't really punish those, but since you used the dodge, you did, I just punished it with the weapon throw instead. Oh, we, we were supposed to extend there, but I suck. Really simple edge guard. It seems like it seems like the recovery the recovery method that he's using is kind of I don't know iffy. It seems inconsistent. It looks like he it looks like the same too. All right, but as I was saying, oh my god! We just keep holding stage against him. He seems to be in the corner a lot. We just take it up here. We test him. He got punished for it, which is fine. That just means he's giving up some kind of stage for him to hit that D-Light. Because there's no way I'm letting him close to me anyways. Oh, he dodged with Nair. He has, no, he has no dodge, he has one now. Use the other jump. He's gonna use another one. Ah. I'm close. He landed stack, easy. Um, the two frames of startup are noticeable, but it's still not enough to really stop that game plan. So, I could still um, put myself in a good position where um, if somebody lands into me, I could still use D Sick as like an option. It's like still there. Really messy edge guard for me. Juggle, he's in there. No, oh, right. I actually have to do. I have to do that instinct a lot more preemptively. That's like the only problem, though. Recovery. Hmm. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. This guy uses a lot of resources. Like he's like, he's not, he's not scared, but the guy's like waiting a bit too long for, for what I'm doing. And it's working, so it's fine. It does no service for him to change. You punish right there. Um, what you want to do for most rising recoveries is to just punish what speed you like, and then strings it to save, and you're fine. Again, we're gonna have to stay in the center here because this guy does not stop giving up stage control. Additionally, um, and the guy's also been dodging away, so let's just capitalize on that too. Keeps landing into me. Right there. That's nasty steer the spear tech by the way. That, that spear tech is actually nuts. It really it really increases the pressure, especially on this map. To my knowledge, I believe the glass cannons, such as Ember, and Thatch, and I think the, even the four defense characters are the ones that went definitely unnerfed this this patch. At least, well, they didn't go unnerfed, but they, but the nerfs just aren't. They're not that. Uh, they're not all that. At least on the three defense legends, they're like less severe. Matter of fact, their, their severity level, to my opinion, or to my knowledge, is really low. 
This guy's playing really good, by the way. You don't let them use bow, bow D light. If you if you use your space with weapon throws, then you'll never give them the chance, and that's really good. Like, make sure that you know, or make sure that you know that they're not going to use it. And make sure that they also know that you're looking you're looking to stop it, even if you're full stage, so you can still chuck weapons at them. I didn't listen to myself last time. Recovery. Probably we will spend three jumps? Yeah. Again, build respect for D-Light if they're using it. But, do, but make it so that you're not scared. Like, you don't have to be scared. This guy. I like expect him to not use his options again and he just keeps doing it. It's a it's a little habit I have. Oh my god. <laughs> oh right. Boots actually definitely got touched. I just have no idea if it's any more different, any more or less different. So very scary picks, but we'll see what happens. Playing against pre uh, post patch Tesca, so no excuses now. Oh, and Gauntlets got absolutely gutted in ones. Like, those things are impossible in ones. So, and we have one of, we, we have the best matchup for Spear. This guy on hit stun, he's like, he's a bit too predictable. Nice job, Impala. You're world champ, everybody. I'm supposed to have that edge guard, but I messed it up. Hmm. Not really supposed to mess those up, but it's fine. We still we still got our interaction. And again, just playing experience of boots is always really nice. It helps. Hmm, interesting. He doesn't dodge on setup attacks like sidelight or Nair, but he, but he also doesn't dodge on aerials. Oh no, that's not good. Thing that really helped me um, when I was playing recently like competitively is you kind of give yourself a are you sure button by just pressing harder on your on your key like when you when you're really sure that somebody's gonna do something you press extremely hard just to just so you can kind of confirm for yourself whether you're going to do, use the move or not it helps because it gives off this kind of reassurance And it also helps you change your mind with really small increments. It's actually one of the best things I think I've done to my career. At least physically. Really simple. Their edge guard. I mean, they were they weren't really they're really running out of jumps. The only thing they could do is kind of jump over to stage. So there wasn't too much risk that followed, unless they just delayed, which they didn't last time. They were really they, they really had like the pace on like an all-time high. Uh oh. Nice comeback, Impala.
holding stage, snake in the center. Always above me, interestingly. Which isn't really where you're supposed to want to be against bow. A little extra, but it's fine. I'm playing ranked. Yeah, th that thing is never going to hit. <laughs> At least not against players who are moving actively. You can you can stop that though for sure. At least the way with the way Kyle works with the stack there and everything. Keep double whiffing in front of me. Oopsies. It's not a mistake. We make up for it in the in the edge card. Um, small tip. The spear is like a cheat code against land players, so play that. for me. Pretty much any time he's stacked, I will be punishing him. Mm. Yeah, just a general Lance player thing to do. And cross up and use recovery to finish stuff. Not bad. I think they keep dancing around me though. They're not actually trying to hit me. And if they are, it's taking too long, so I should walk up to him. Not bad. This is making looking on point right now. This guy is taking extremely long to die. That's fine. He's gonna get desperate, so they just walked into me. Another, another like general like player habit. Ooh, I should not have dodged then. It's gonna cost me if I do it again. Alright, he did that. He did that legit last dodge, so. Not have jumped in. Okay, let's focus up. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Player two wins. 
please just press three in cases like these you start to see why I'm not a big fan of ranked that was beautiful though let's be real but that's just an accumulation of game knowledge that you get throughout the game he ended up double whiffing a lot when I contested him in the air he didn't really seem to dodge anyways like it didn't seem like he had general respect for the moves that I was throwing out he seemed to dodge first he seemed to just do something before he attacked me in other words um, he wasn't actually attacking me but he was just moving around so um, it would be simpler to hit him no, dude, I side sigged, but my mom's calling me! Three, two, one, I wanted to win, I wanted to go 10-0 and then my mom, who I ever so love, decided to call me. And I don't know. I stopped.